Well, with less than two weeks until Election Day, Senate candidates are pulling out all the stops to get the attention of voters. As with most campaigns, a slew of negative ads are airing on television. CBS 42 News reporter Britt Moore live from our digital newsroom with what voters have to say about all these ads. Britt. Well, Art, I stopped by a local restaurant to get a feel for what some voters think about these attack ads. Let's just say opinions are strong. Take a look at this. Roy and his wife took over a million dollars from a charity they ran, paying themselves a million dollars and spending even more on travel. Now that's just a snippet of an ad focusing solely on attacking Roy Moore. The ad is funded by a super PAC affiliated with Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. Now the Senate Leadership Fund backs Senator Luther Strange. Now prior to this ad, Strange's team focused on attacking Congressman Mo Brooks. Now I caught up with some voters at popular breakfast spot Dimitri's Barbecue. Here's what they had to say. I don't know if I've seen it quite this bad in the state. Obviously, these guys really want to be senator very badly if you're talking about the Senate race. It does make you wonder uh, why would they want to be a senator that, that bad. They're a little much. Um, I, they don't make me want to vote for the person airing the ad. If anything, they do the opposite because they're so negative. Now, those two voters tell me the ads have become distracting for them. They liked candidates to just focus on their, their platforms themselves. Now, of course, this is something we'll continue to watch. The special Senate election is August 15th. Live in the digital newsroom this morning, Britt Moore, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on. And you can count on CBS 42 to bring you continuing coverage on this U.S. Senate race. Just download our CBS 42 News app. There you will find the latest stories from the campaign trail, as well as interviews we've done with the candidates. Happening